As some of you know, I announced I will start live streaming on the 6th of August at 12 pm EST and every Tuesday and Thursday after that. So I started preparing for my live streaming journey on my YouTube channel. I thought about growing my online presence by also setting up an almost automatic live stream on Twitch. I got this Raspberry Pi 5 as a birthday present, but I haven't used it for anything yet, so I thought I'd give it a try. My idea was to connect a webcam to the Pi, for which I got a new Logitech Stream Cam, and just stream my 3D printer constantly printing on Twitch. I soon found out that there was no official hardware support for OBS Studio, so I looked into other options. I wasn't gonna leave my computer streaming for more than 8 hours at a time. So I found out I could use FFmpeg, it's a suite of libraries to handle audio, video and streams. The way to use FFmpeg is through a terminal, and I wanted it to be done in 5 minutes, so instead of reading the documentation, I asked ChatGPT to give me a basic command so I can start streaming my webcam. After figuring out the different settings, it was time to take it over to Twitch and I was live within seconds. But that wasn't cutting it for me. There were no interactive elements, no sound from the webcam, and you know how people enjoy the stepper motor singing. I headed over to Canva and selected a template overlay, resized it a bit and changed the text. Then I used FFmpeg to set it as a background image and I measured the pixels from the top left of the image to approximately where I wanted the webcam stream to start. It was very simple so I had my camera with an interesting overlay. The next thing to do was to include the webcam's microphone sound in the stream and that was easy as well. However, there was still something missing. I researched a bit and found a no copyright music radio stream and plugged it into the FFmpeg command and my live stream was ready. Now I did run into a few problems along the way. Sometimes the stream just stopped when the internet cut off for a second even though the FFmpeg command was still active. The way I solved it was by optimizing the command settings. I decreased the buffer size and changed the preset. Another issue was, because the Raspberry Pi sits next to the printer, without display and peripherals connected, I was using SSH to connect to it. When the SSH connection was terminated, the stream stopped after a while. So I installed screen, so I can start the stream in a separate session. After that the stream was working normally and I streamed for 24 consecutive hours. The final issue, which has not happened yet, is the Raspberry Pi overheating. Now, even though the case I use has a fan for cooling, I wanted to be able to check the temperature every time I pass by the printer. So I got one of my project displays, wrote a short script that will check the temperature from the sensors and display it on the small screen. This script starts every time the Pi turns on, so I don't have to worry about running it every time. The last thing I did was 3D print a small case for the display so it sits upright on the top of the Pi. And that was it. The project files are available for free, just check the link in the description. That's all for today, thank you for watching, my name is Risto and I will see you next time.